Welcome Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for April 13th through the 19th. Taurus, it looks like someone's working on justice and judgment. That would be a divorce to me. So you're, you're working on getting a divorce here. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hello and welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Please keep in mind that all my readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. They can resonate in reverse. Uh, if you are interested in booking a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. Uh, you can book a reading from my website at www.quartzrosetarot.com. Uh, if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me comments. I like to read every one of them. Uh, also, if you're returning, thanks for returning. I really appreciate the love and support. So let's get in with this, guys, and see where it goes. Taurus, you're starting off your reading with the Three of Pentacles, working and collaborating. Um, but what you could be working on is justice here. You have Libra. Um, this is about finding balance or, or justice for something. But next to judgment and justice, this is a final judgment and justice. So this could be a divorce here. So you're working on getting a divorce because you want balance. You have temperance. You could be divorcing a Sagittarius. Um, you want balance in, in a... You want balance or you want to balance out your pinnacles. This is having all the abundance. Maybe that's what the problem is, is you're trying to separate the assets here, balance the assets. You know, this is about a long-term commitment, uh, but this is also having all the abundance you could possibly need. But if you're trying to balance that out because of a divorce, like maybe you're balancing the assets, you're trying to divide the assets. Um, you're trying to gain perspective here with the hanged man about this judgment. And this is, a, this is like a, a, a new truthful beginning. Some, some people say this is a redo. You know, you're going to speak the truth. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a redo. It means you're going to come and speak. You're going to speak a truth about something, possibly this this divorce. Um, there's a lot of back and forth communication here, a lot of wands, a lot of back and forth communication, truthful communication about something from the past, uh, the past mistakes with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, somebody here is wanting wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, or this person could be being smug, okay, with the Nine of Cups, uh, could be drinking and partying a lot, possibly. Um, Center of your read, a new passionate beginning. So you may have a new sexual partner coming in uh, or a new new passionate beginning with somebody. And it may be at work. You've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, or you're working on something. You're working, what you're working on is your happiness. You have the Sun card, which is Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo, but you're manifesting. You have all the tools that you need to have any beginning that you want. You have the cup, the pinnacle, the wand, and the sword here. So you're working on your happiness. Uh, you're trying to manifest a new beginning with the empress here. This is all four queens rolled into one. She, uh, Somebody could be pregnant here. Uh, this is about creation, new beginnings. But this is the Empress. It is the divine, uh, divine Feminine here. Now, you have a new beginning in love with this, with this person. This is Libra, Taurus, Cancer. New beginning in love, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wanting to move forward quickly or move forward with the Six of, uh, six of Swords. Move from rough water to calm water, making a decision. You're at a crossroads, could be at a distance from somebody. Um, making a decision, and that decision has to do with a relationship. Here's Taurus. Here you come. Here you are in your read, strong. The Hierophant. 
So this is about traditions. This is about uh, commitment, you know, uh, a relationship. You're wanting to take the leap of faith here with the full card. I don't see that you're acting a fool, but I this this could be Leo and Aries. Um, it also could be Gemini to me. You're wanting to take a leap of faith, and it could be with a Cancer, because you have the Chariot card here, moving forward quickly, making that decision to move forward in a relationship. It looks like what I'm getting strong here. Taurus, is that it's possible that you're getting a divorce so that you can be with this new person. New beginnings right in the center of your reading. You know, justice to take a leap of faith. You know, judgment to move forward quickly and working on a relationship. Now, you could be leaving one, dividing the assets from one relationship and going straight into another relationship. So let's see what the bottom of the deck has. This person that you're heading towards is your two of cups. This is a soulmate with the divine with the divine feminine here. You could be leaving a karmic relationship here, going to reconnect with your twin flame here. But this person's your two of cups, which would be your divine feminine, a soulmate, lover's card. Fate, divine timing. This is a twin flame reunion here. Ten of cups. Ten of cups. Having all your cups filled. A new solid beginning. Solid, stable beginning of love and abundance with the Ace of Pentacles. And here's your 1111 card. I haven't seen the Emperor here, but this is about a twin flame reunion after a divorce. This is about stability, foundation. This is about a, a relationship, relationship. Taurus, I'm going to take this to the extended and see where this goes. I'll read you on one side, your person on the other. I'll also um, put some oracle cards on it and do a Celtic spread for you as well. Um, if this resonates for you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and, I hope, and I'll see you over in Vimeo.